Hello. Hello everyone, it's Ben the Chair to give you a brand new video today and I'm not going to insult your intelligence. This is a pickup video. I haven't done a, a blue rank video in three or four months and I haven't done really done many YouTube videos either. Um, so I'm not going to insult your intelligence by showing you the um, fishies of the blue rank. So I'm just going to show you what I picked up and unbox them for you. So um, you let know, uh, without no further ado, as you can see I'm a bit rusty. That's my own fault, of course. I'm going to show you what I've picked up. First of all, I've done it in sections. Um, this, these are going to be a separate video. I have the Sonic Steel book. Yes, it's still sealed, and this has been out about two months. I'm praying to goodness that it's not damaged at all because it's sealed. Um, Zaffy did send me two of these. I sold one of them straight away, even though I only bought one. So I basically got a steel book for free. Excellent, got a lot about 30 quid, um, 24 pound um, store credit um, from CEX for this straight up. So that'll be a separate video on, on later on. Um. Next up, we have the American import of everything, everywhere, all at once. This is one of my favourite films of this year, and it doesn't even get a DVD release in this country. So I had to import the 4K, of course. So that'll be a separate unboxing as well. I have no idea why the we don't get a Blu-ray DVD release, or even a 4K of this, in this country. One of the best films made by um, A24, and they don't even get a DVD release in this country. Very strange. Um, I think um, children, I think children, men, I think men, if that's a film, I think men got a DVD release in this country, but this film doesn't. How strange. So that's going to be a separate video as well. Oh. Stick them over there. So they're separate. Right, now we're going to move on to... Um, I'm gonna actually I'm gonna do the CEX stuff first. Right, this is also a new release. This is uh, that um, Nicholas Cage, unbelievable massive talent, unbelievable weight massive talent. I always get that wrong. Um, pretty good um, movie. Um, um, pretty good slipcover. Um, this is second hand. It was twenty pounds, so I got a five pound off because it was pretty much brand new. About Four weeks after it came out. Um, let's have a quick look inside. Stay there. And there's no real dings on this slip cover, which is handy. Um, as you can see, I'm rusty because I haven't shown you the back. Anyway, so that's the slip cover. Really nice. There's no embossing or debossing on this thing. There's the slip. There's the back. Again, my old nemesis of trying to read the blurb on the back. Impossible. Uh, my old nemesis is trying to get the blu rays and the blue 4K around the right way. There are the discs. Four K, I think. Blu-ray. Uh, where are the special features? Oh, here they are. Audio commentary with writer-director Tom Gormick. Gormican. Can't can't pronounce his name. And writer Kevin Ethan. Deleted scenes. The mind. Uh, the glamours of bygone cage. Oh, bygone. Like bygone like that. And what's gone before um everyone needs a Javi, nick nicky and sergio uh second act action try and say that when you're drunk um cage five and up uh the s x s w film festival q a i've no idea what that stands for but it's obviously a film festival because that's what i said so some pretty good special features there. Um, 
actually I got I actually did have disco on this thing, so it's pretty good. And I think the film's funny, but I will do I will do a rewatch of this soon. Because it is a good movie. Right. We have Sonic 4K for six pounds, which is a blooming good deal, I think. No slip cover, so I don't think I don't think it came with a slip cover, did it? Inside we get silver. We get the silver disc. That be the Blu-ray. Come on. Okay, yep, I couldn't even see it. It's in, it's in the corner there. Couldn't even see it. I was panicking and thinking I had two Blu-rays. That's the back, pretty fun, funky. Special feature wise we get um 4K resolution. Well oh, that's just saying what the revolution is again. Uh this two, which would be the Blu-ray. We get deleted scenes, bloopers, the blue blur, the origins of Sonic, building, Robotnik, with Jim Carrey and more. And if you can hear the rain, it's because it is absolutely peeing down and it's the first of November, yes. These these releases come from the summer and it's the first of November. And I'm just getting around to it. Yes, I'm a terrible YouTuber and I'm going to improve. You know, I've said that before as well. So that's Sonic <laughs> the Hedgehog, the first one. As you remember earlier, I've got the Sonic 2 Steelbook. Excellent. <clears throat> right. And the last one, I'm going to hold backwards. Have a guess how much this was. It's Trolls. Three, two, one. Three pounds for trolls on 4K. Could not pass this up. Um, I haven't tried this yet, but the colours should be amazing. Um, I bought for three quid. I can't pass it up to be honest. One of the cheapest 4Ks I've ever seen. Um, I, you know, you're not even going to get that on a sale, are you? I think the the best you'll get is maybe a fiver on Amazon if you're lucky. I think somebody got Toy Story four for. Eight quid the other day, Amazon uh, Lightning deal or something, and maybe second hand fiver if you're lucky. So that's a spine, really nice actually, kind of silvery. There we go, the back, the front. Special features we have a sing along party featurette, travel through Troll Village, the, the position of stop motion, creating troll magic. Inside the bunker, deleted scenes, and troll to troll. I'm not quite sure what that is. Probably like an interview with Anna Kendrick and Justin Timberlake. And so we have a little guff. Don't need. Discs run under there, never mind. We actually have disc art, which is good. Different disc art as well, not for the front cover. If I can get it to, stop, to go round. I can. We have the 4K and the Blu-ray. Really nice different disc art. I especially like that one. That's the disco troll, isn't it? So that's trolls for three quid. On to the new the new releases. I say new in Averted commas, I know. Jurassic World Dominion. So this is the front cover. Um, this movie was okay. I expected it to be a bit more kind of... Ex not exciting, yeah. A bit more exciting, a bit more... Um, um, a bit more dinosaur, really. And a bit more of the humans and dinosaurs living together after the... Uh, or how the second one finished, but it wasn't like that. It moved on too far, so we more like um, this film is about because I'm sort of bio company trying to um, um, destroy f um, grain crops. So and they're trying to work out how and why, and and they're using some sort of dinosaur DNA, of course. But um, I expected it to be kind of like Doomsday dinosaurs trying to live with humans but it really wasn't like that i think a lot of people thought it was going to be too so it was a bit disappointing good movie for what it was but not the storyline we were hoping for there we go i had to order this from um 
from um, uh, Agent V because they didn't have any at the time. I do have a spare Dominion slip up there which somebody kindly gave me from Agent V. But um, let's get in, shall we? Uh, the old problem of not getting in properly. It does help Ben if you let go. Uh, we do get the extended cut. This is why it's called the extended edition, I've just noticed. Oh, we do get this card. Actually, that looks pretty photoshopped to me. That looks pretty bad, actually. Um, the 4K. Don't know whether you can see how Photoshop that looks. Oh dear. I know it's dinosaurs, so it's going to be obviously. And the same are on the Blu-ray. Uh, the oh, we seem to have uh, special features here. Battle at Big Rock, Jurassic World short film, a new breed V effects, um, Dinosaurs Among Us inside Jurassic World Dominion, a 45 minute look at the making of the film. So pretty in depth stuff. Actually for special features there. As it tells you how long the documentary is, so that's helpful. That's Jurassic World Dominion. <clears throat> Next up, one of my films of the year, um, a tad long, like some people have said, maybe you can knock off 20 minutes, but this is of course uh, Austin Butler's um, Elvis with Tom Hanks playing Colonel Parker, brilliant performance by Hanks, coming out of his comfort zone playing a villain of the piece, of course, not technically a villain, but you know, you know he's not a very nice guy, was he? Colonel Parker. Very, very stylish here. And a very stylish back as well. Lovely. Special features we've got Bigger Than Life, the story of Elvis, Rock and Roll Royalty, the music and artist behind Elvis, Fit for a King, the style of Elvis, I think that's the same thing, Viva Australia, recreating the iconic locations for Elvis, uh, Trouble, a uh, lyric video. So that's obviously one of the main songs of the trailer or movie or something. So they're pretty, pretty decent um, special features. Don't know how long they are because I never say. Probably about five, ten minutes or something. So let's get inside. I do like this cover. Um, I didn't really like the still book because it was a bit boring. Actually, I do I prefer, No, the still book is just a logo, isn't it? It just says Elvis. So I didn't like that much. No, I'm remembering correctly. Oh, that's boring. Boring, but at least it isn't that bad. We have the 4K on a red disc. And a Blu-ray on a Blu-ray disc, of course. How amazingly different that is. Not really. Oh, there's one other thing that I haven't showed you because I can't find it. And that is a new release of The Phantom of the Open. Um, that stars... Um, uh, is it, oh, is it? I can't remember his name. The bloke from the BFG, is it? Ryland, somebody. It's about um, somebody who tries to go in the open golf. Um, it was at the cinema for about a week, but I didn't get to see it. Um, I do have the DVD, because there's no difference between the DVD and the Blu-ray, but I will do a review for it when it, when I find it. It's on my shelf somewhere. I care put it away, which means it's on the back of the shelf somewhere. Because I took so long to unbox these, he just thought, sorry, I'm going to put them all away. Managed to, managed to dig out this lot, but I couldn't find that DVD I was looking for. It's on my shelf somewhere, but it's been my fault for not unboxing this 
soon. You know, it's taken me three months to unbox this lock, so it's my own fault, really. <laughs> Next up is the last thing that is sealed, and that is the Railway Children. The return of the Railway Children, actually. I've never seen the Railway Children in the original. My nan has, and she's quite looking forward to watching this because it's got um, uh, the person from Harry Potter in it. The one who plays uh, um, uh, Dean Thomas. The, um, um, I can't remember his name. Uh, is it something enough, is it? Uh, I can't remember his name. Uh, he's on the cover. Yep, it's it's uh, him. He's from Harry Potter, so she's looking forward. To my name loves anything Harry Potter, but this is um, the Railway Children Returns, and um, nice cover, spine, spine. Uh, not quite sure what this is about. Sequel to one of the most beloved family films of all time, The Railway Children Returns. Life in 1944, Britain. Cities become increasingly precarious. Uh, the what children? Lily, uh, Pretty, and Ted. I think it's Pretty. Uh, are evacuated to Yorkshire Village, o Oxworth, where they are met by uh, by Bobby Waterbury, uh, but uh, whoever that is, uh, respecting iconic role from the original. Her daughter Annie Sheridan Smith. I didn't realize she was in it. Uh, and Gardner Thomas will help them settle into their new life in the countryside. So yeah, it should be sounds pretty good. So um, the special features are then and now a look at the 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 part. I think it says. I think it says part. P. P uh, yeah. Don't know why. Then and now look at the oh. Then and now look at the part. Um, that's different. All aboard. The trains of the railway children returns and the history behind the film. So yeah, I butchered these special features, but I'll do it again. Then and now, a then and now, looking for, for the for the Pratt. For the, oh, I've done this. Uh, then and now, what a Pratt. Uh, looking, looking the part. I finally got it right. Looking the part. All aboard the trains of the railway children returns the history behind the film. So yeah, I finally got it right on the third attempt. I do apologize. Anyone who want anyone who wants to rip the piss out of me, please do, because I would do the same. I'm not gonna edit that out because it's too funny. Me trying to read. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so let's unbox this Blu-ray. Any guesses whether it's a blue disc or a silver disc? Place your bets now. And the way this is going, I would also say that this is a, um, because it looks see-through, one of those eco cases that me and Big probably can't stand. But it does feel a bit tougher, so maybe not. Is it? Nope. And we do have this card, so I was wrong on both counts. Different from the cover as well. So I was wrong on both counts. not an eco case, and we do have this card. So I was wrong completely. And it is a nice kind of like, yeah, it's a nice picture of the train and the countryside. That's really nice artwork, actually. Some thoughts gone into that. Well done. I really, I really quite like that. It's one of my favorite, favorite art, actually. I'm surprised by that. I'm really pleased. Right. Um. What's coming up now is. What I've unboxed before, but I lost the um, I lost the footage because I did film um, the secrets of Dumbledore and Lost City and uh, the Phantom of the Open uh, unboxed, but I never obviously put it up, and it got further and further away, and I kind of lost the footage. So anyway, let's start with the secrets of Dumbledore. This is my second copy of this because the first one kept jumping in the 4K player. And the second one is also jumpy, this version, this copy rather, is also jumpy, but I've just decided to stick with it, because there's obviously something wrong with the player, but this particular disc. But, um, yeah, nice cover, love it. And the more I look at that, the more I cannot wait for Hogwarts Legacy, so let's get on with it, shall we? That game's going to be amazing. 
Anyway, nice cover. Special feature wise, what do we have? Feature exclusives on Blu-ray. Meet the newest characters the, and the beasts and learn their stories. Join cast and crew in their favourite scenes and deleted scenes. So that really tells us almost not a lot. <laughs> Obviously this does not star uh, Johnny Depp. This is Mad Mickelson taking over uh, Gaelic Grindelwald. And Jude Law returns, and so does um, uh, uh, Eddie Redmayne. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, they're all everybody's back. Um, uh, yeah, so that's pretty good. Uh, even the poor woman who plays Tina Goldstein is in it for a scene. Pretty pointless, really. <laughs> so apparently, yeah, apparently she didn't really want to be in it. Probably something to do with the c word, I think. So let's have a look inside. We have. Uh, a black 4K, how original, and a blue Blu-ray. Mm. So simply done. A black Blu-ray, a black 4K, and a, and a blue Blu-ray. Excellent. Talking of Harry Potter, this Lost City has Daniel Radcliffe in it as the villain, and he is pretty good actually. Um, I don't like the film much overall. It's okay for a one-time watch, but I wouldn't keep watching it. Um, but my nan wanted this, so we went halves on it, so it's okay. But um, Daniel Radcliffe is good in this, so I've gone from Fantastic Beasts to Lost City with Daniel Radcliffe. Couldn't, I didn't mean to do that, but it just had to be um, panned out. No embossing as usual. Pretty standard stuff. Spine. Not nice spine. Nice cover. But everything's flat these days. There's no embossing. Hardly ever. Special features. We get 50 minutes of special features. We told down here. 50 minutes of hilarious special features. Um, so we get deleted, deleted scenes and bloopers. Um, Bullock and Tatum um, dynamic duo Jungle Rescue building oh, Jungle Rescue building Velocity and more let's have a quick look inside yeah this was okay but it, it was pretty kind of like obvious what was going on you know if you wanted a pop popcorn flick where, where you didn't have to think about the jokes then this is the movie. It's not bad. I've seen worse. But um, I like kind of um, British humour. But you don't know what's coming. Things like the Nan movie. Oh, did I actually show you that? We have a silver disc. So, yeah. I like things like the Nan movie. And that, is it Brian and Charles? That bloke from the um, um, Afterlife. That's come out on DVD. I haven't seen that in the cinema. But I do want to pick that up. That kind of comedy stuff is kind of my my um, style. Not my style, but in movies I do prefer that rather than in the American slapstick. Because um, the Americans only know how to do slapstick. The Americans' movies can't do um, pathos and actual humour. They can only do slapstick in movies, the Americans. The British do the best comedy movies ever. Um, you know, things like... Um, um, Fiscal Wonder, um, Clockwise with John Cleese. Um, I mean, the Americans do 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 some good comedy movies like Ted, but it's very rare. And and um, Seth MacFarlane does like the British humour, so I can understand why that works. Because obviously, um, Stewie has a British accent. So, you know, I'm getting way off to off topic here. I'm rambling on about British humour. God knows why. Anyway, that's the end of the video. Please like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys on the next video. Thank you for watching, everybody. Bye.